time of day. The General Store on 24 is located on Route 24 in Lewis. Headlines, headlines you can't get through your day without. Oh, Power 1017. All right, good morning to everybody jumping on our Facebook Live this morning. Hello. A lot of Here headlines go. going on. Jess, what you got? The 39-year-old man suspected of opening fire inside of a Washington state supermarket Monday, mm. killing one person and critically injuring another, had his first court appearance on Tuesday after being caught and arrested Monday night in a vehicle on I-90. Court documents said that Aaron Christopher Kelly was a suspected shoplifter who appeared to be dealing with a mental illness. His former roommate told uh, police that Kelly was, quote, spiraling mentally and is very paranoid. He is being charged with first degree murder and attempted murder and bail was set at one million dollars. Also, the Justice Department announced yesterday that a New York City couple was arrested for an alleged conspiracy to launder billions of dollars in stolen cryptocurrency and said that it had seized more than $3.6 million. It's the largest ever financial seizure. The cryptocurrency was stolen from 2016. It was a hack of currency and an exchange with Bitfinex. A 34-year-old and a 31-year-old husband and wife have been arrested, and they are accused of a sophisticated technique to launder the stolen cryptocurrency and conceal the transactions. They are not charged in the hack itself. Hold on. This is some Ozark type stuff. $3.6 <laughs> billion. Dollars. Wow. This, again, this is some Ozark type. This is real life Ozark. Laundering. Crazy, right? Wow. And they're I only know. how old? 34? 34 and 31. And 31? They got caught up. They figured out a way. Man, there's some smart. Oh, never mind. Yeah, you definitely don't want to do that. No. Wow, thirty-four billion yeah. laundering. Ozark. Unbelievable. Wow. Also, uh, VP Harris's husband removed from a Black History event after a bomb threat. The headlines are coming out saying that Vice President Kamala Harris's husband Doug was removed from a Black History Month event in Washington D.C. at a high school there by the Secret Service yesterday after a bomb threat came in. An announcement instructed students and teachers to leave the building. The Secret Service says right now that they did not have any information to indicate a threat and it was targeted at him, you know, personally. No bomb was found after search by police. What's so going on here? We'll you know, you get the bomb threat with, uh, you know, the, um, the colleges. black history yep. and then the colleges, the HBCUs. Uh, mm-hmm. I know. Like, come on. Yep. So another Sad. one took place yesterday. Now, Hyundai and Kia are telling owners of about 485,000 vehicles here in the U.S. that they've recalled. Um, They are telling them to park your cars outside until repairs can be made because apparently they catch fire even if the engine is turned off. The issue is contamination in the anti-lock brake control module that can cause an electrical short, increasing the risk of a fire. There's been 11 reported fires in the U.S., no injuries. This is according to automakers, and the vehicles that are affected are going to be posted online, but it's a Kia Sportage, an SUV from 2014 through 2016, also the K900 sedan from 2016 through 2018, certain Hyundais, certain Santa Fe's, certain SUVs, the Santa Fe XL, and also the 2015 Tucson SUVs as well are, you know, with this recall. So And then also Jessica's car. <laughs> <laughs> Only mine. Only yours. Is added in that list. At the end it says Jessica's and car. Jessica's Camry. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever Jessica's driving, yeah, her car. Yeah, her car <laughs> <laughs> needs to be recalled. Right. I think the driver needs to be oh recalled. Oh, my God. Now, here locally, Governor Larry Hogan is continuing to urge Marylanders to get vaccinated and boosted against COVID-19. During a press conference yesterday afternoon, the governor made an announcement. There's a new initiative called Vax Cash 2.0. Through this initiative, the Maryland Lottery will pick and award one booster Maryland each week for 12 straight weeks. The winnings will kick off with a special initial $500,000 drawing next Tuesday, the 15th. From there, winners will be selected each week for a $50,000 prize. And in the final week, the grand prize winner will receive $1 million. So it's called Vax Cash 2.0. To be eligible to win, you must be at least 18, you must be a Maryland resident, and you must have received all of your shots 
in Maryland. I'm going to win that. Okay? I'm going to win that, So there you go. I remember announcing all them winners. We didn't get nothing. I'm going to win that. Maybe this time around. We're going to win it. Maybe this time around. Seaford police say that they are investigating a lewdness incident that happened at a local gym on Saturday evening around 8.45 p.m. Officers did respond to Pure Fitness located at 620 West Stein Highway, and it was a lewdness complaint. The suspect has been described as a male and average build. The suspect was wearing a black hooded sweatshirt with gray sleeves, dark gray sweatpants, and black sneakers with white soles. The suspect was seen heading north um, in the northern direction from Pure Fitness. Anyone with any information should contact the Seaford Police Department at 302-629-6648. Now, look, I'm not saying this was lewd. A lewdness. Well, act. I have a que- I, I have like a thing. Okay. <laughs> not a question, just a thing. It's just okay. a story. Okay, when we were going to the gym a lot, because now, you know, we don't, we got a treadmill at home and all that. But when we were going to the gym a lot, you know, afterwards, before we left, Mm -hmm. I would always, like, I would, I would go put my stuff in the locker room, bathroom, you know, whatever. So Uh when I would leave, you know, to go get my stuff, Uh um, every once in a while, there was that one guy. Like, in the, and I know it's a men's locker room. Like, I get it. Like, I know, you know, so it, does, so it is what it is. That's what it's used for. It's used for showers and stuff, right? Okay. Okay. Well, every once in a while, there was an old guy. And it was oh always boy. the old, it was always the old guy. Oh, boy. Okay. It, you know, like the younger guys, I n- never did this. But it was always, there was every once in a while, there was an old guy in the gym locker room who would just get out of the shower, walk around the bathroom. Like, no towel, no nothing. <laughs> just hanging all out. Come I up, don't think that come that's up. considered loose. No, 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 it's not. Inside, it's not. Like, the locker room. And it's in the locker and, room. And, 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 and you're in the men's you locker room. It is what it is, you know. Free. Yeah, but he, he would just come out of the shower, <laughs> dry off, and just take the towel So off. you saw all the stuff? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, nothing. <laughs> Everything. And Everything. He, and, and he was just, like, just walking around. Oh, my God. And I was like, "All right, what gym?" Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was an older, older man. Okay, I still want to see. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go in there. I'm curious. No, but I mean, it's like <laughs> he would just walk around, and again, I know that's like it might be normal practice for some at a gym. Yeah. But it was always the old guy. Are they? Are they like more? Like, is it, that the it, old school way? Th- that's what I I'm don't wondering. know. I don't know. The younger guys, it I just seemed know. like they. Tell us more. Like the younger guys always had, like, you know. That, what's gym etiquette? I don't know. Yeah, I was just. No, I mean, I guess that's fine. Again, you know, but it was just, you know, you talk about a gym and you have that story. <laughs> but, I, you know, he was just, he'd go up, wash his hands. It was just different, right? Go to the for bathroom. You, I'm sure it'd be different for me. Because he just, I mean, does that is that what happens in the female I don't restroom? Know. I've never been to a gym before. What? I mean, like to work out. Never? Have a membership, any of that? No. And Jessica, 90 pounds. No. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know what takes place. I don't N- know what no, the gym but, etiquette is. No, but I mean, is. they just get out and walk around, and he was just walking around like nothing. Have mm-hmm. a conversation. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? And you, I'm sure, are like trying to look at them. In How their, about this weather? Like in their face, right? You're looking up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying, but I instantly go down. <laughs> no, but I mean, it's, it's just like. I know. I'd be all over. It's up and down, scoping. Uh, just, I just can't help myself. And that's why you're not allowed in. <laughs> <laughs>